evening at the graduation ceremony for College of Central Florida Law Enforcement Class 179. We owe a debt of gratitude to Dean McIntosh, Coordinator Mike Schuler, Coordinator Kat Kelly, and the entire Criminal Justice Institute administration and staff. Thank you to all the instructors who took time out of their busy schedules to provide us with the knowledge to make sure that we go out and do our jobs the right way. We are fortunate to have instructors that are passionate about teaching recruits who will become the next generation of law enforcement officers. A very special thank you goes out to our guest speaker and one of the best instructors I personally ever had the opportunity to learn from. His style of instruction is unique and colorful <laughs> to say the least, but his passion, knowledge, and experience shines through and it's evident to anyone who's ever spent time with him. Of course, I'm talking about retired Ocala Police Department, Captain Fred Durie. Thank you, sir, for your guidance and support. Thanks for being our guest speaker here tonight. Now, I've always heard that a good speech should be like a comet, dazzling, eye-opening, and over before you know it. Now, I'm not sure that I can sell the first two, so I'm gonna try really hard to make good on the third. From the very first day of the Academy, Class 179 earned a less than stellar reputation. But over the weeks and months, I've witnessed a transformation, both as individuals and as a group. We may have started the academy as a group, but we graduate tonight together as a family. The 23 individuals in Academy Class 179 have grown and matured in ways that better prepare us to face the challenges that lie ahead. We will face those challenges with integrity, courage, and honor. And we will face those challenges with the knowledge and the memories that we forged together over the last five months. Our bonds will last a lifetime, even if our paths never cross again after tonight. Proverbs 27, 17 reads, As iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. By banding together as a group of individuals from different backgrounds and with different perspectives, we have made each other stronger. By listening to and accepting opinions that are different than our own, we sharpen our minds and our spirits. As company commander, I've had to do a little bit of talking, probably more than most in the class would have wanted, but most importantly, I've done a lot of listening. I've heard from recruits who signed up for this profession to make a difference in the neighborhoods that they grew up in. And others have mentioned how traumatic events that they experienced as children influenced their decision to join law enforcement. And I've learned that the reason most, if not all of us, are here and in this overwhelmingly is the opportunity to serve our community and to help make it stronger for everyone. In the last few months, we've learned a great deal from our instructors about law enforcement and about life in general. One recurring theme that we've heard throughout our time here is how important it is to hold ourselves to a higher standard, both in our professional life and in our personal life. We have learned that without integrity, a law enforcement officer is nothing. Every action that we will take, every word that we will speak, is going to be scrutinized. Dishonesty, lack of integrity, it catches up to you. Now I try to live my life keeping in mind that right is right, even if no one does it, and wrong is wrong, even if everyone does it. So with that, class 179, my message to you is this. When you go out to this new profession, honor your commitments with integrity. I'd like to end with a passage to take with you on your journey, and my hope is that these words will help you overcome whatever challenging situations you're faced with. The passage is 1 Corinthians 16, 13, and it says, Be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. Thank you, Class 179, for the honor of being your company commander and your classmate. I look forward to seeing all the good that you do here in the future. Thank you to all the families and the friends that came out tonight. We're going to make all of you proud. Thank you. And now at this time, I would like to call up platoon leader William Witt and company treasurer Caitlin McDonald to present the class plaque.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to present our class flag from on behalf of Class 179 to the College of Central Florida uh, to Mr. Mike Schuler. Uh, been a great coordinator to us, and uh, it was a privilege to be able to 